everybody. It's your girl Danny here. And today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. It is also our, what, 40th day, I believe, in our national emergency for the coronavirus. And I'm going to put my cigarette out because the smoke is being picked up by the camera. So I bet you're wondering what I'm going to be doing today. Is this going to be an OG video? Is this going to be a coronavirus video? Is this going to be some kind of government conspiracy video? As promised the other day, guys, it is OG time. OG, 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 OG time. OG time. OG time. Yes, we are going to be finding out what's in this itchy bag. Yes, I have been waiting since Saturday to find out what's in this bag. Um, I have just been extremely busy uh, working with my client. And uh, then coming home, um, when I'm having me time and getting my garden together. Um, if y'all would like to see me do a video on my garden, let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be glad to do one. It's not a problem. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, I'm not, I've barely started, so it wouldn't be a problem to do a few videos while I'm doing, you know, while I'm getting it ready. So, you guys are wanting to know what's in this bag just as much as I am. My daughter did get into it and look, but I told her I didn't want to know. Because I wanted to be just as surprised as y'all are when I open it. Now, the last two or three months that I have been getting Ipsy um, and done my videos on here, I've been very pleased with the bags. I hope this one will make it four in a row. I really do hope it makes four in a row. Would it be four in a row or three? Anyway, it'll be the third or the fourth one. I'm not sure. So, let's get into it. Okay, shall we? All right. So, as, like I said, my daughter got into it. That's why it was so easy to open up. All right. And there's nothing in the bag but the bag itself. Okay, so here is what the bag looks like. It has a wooden circle on the zipper, and it says Ipsy, right there, and it's this, uh, what would you say, nylon filling top stuff, I don't really care that much for the color, and I don't really care that much for the pattern. To me, it either looks like flowers or dragonflies. What do y'all think? Alright, let's look inside and see what's going on. Let's go ahead and get the card out. Full bloom, so I'm assuming it's flowers. Um, hashtag it. Mother Nature's finest work. You. It's time to fully embrace your natural and most gorgeous state. Curls, curves, and all. And allow yourself to bloom. And then it shows us on the inside what we get. And it obviously will tell us the prices. So, we'll just lay that right there. So, let's dig in here and pull out the first thing. Alright. Bella Pierre Cosmetics Matte Lipstick. And it is actually the very first thing on the list. So, Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Lipstick Incognito. That's the shade, Incognito. Our two requirements for a Holy Grail lipstick status. It has to look good and be good for you. Two, this creamy caramel mineral lipstick checks both boxes thanks to its nourishing, antioxidant-rich formula that's made with all natural waxes and mineral pigments. Tip, before applying... Nix flakes and dryness by prepping your lips with a gentle exfoliating scrub. And I'm guessing it's giving you those tips to do that because it's uh, 
it's a matte lipstick. Um, if you've ever noticed that if you have dry lips and you put on a matte lipstick, it dries down and it shows every single crack and dry piece of skin on your lips and everything. So, a little makeup tip there. Anytime you are going to use matte lipstick, make sure, make sure you prep beforehand and get all that dry skin off and everything. So, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I hope my daughter hasn't got into it. That's what the casing looks like. Just very black and sleek all the way around. And she has not. And that's what it looks like. It's a nude color. I'm not going to swatch it because I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Okay, next. Sugar. That's what it says. Sugar. Waterproof Micro Liner Wingman. Okay. So it's right here. Sugar Cosmetics Wingman. Waterproof Eyeliner in I'll Be Black. Cat Eyes Dramatic Wings are simple flicks. They're all made easy with this jet black liquid liner. Its firm, easy to control tip draws clean, crisp lines every single time. No pro skills required. And the best part, the formula is 100% waterproof. So once it's on, it's on. Tip, shake the pen before use and store it upside down to prevent the tip from drying out. So we're going to shake it. Never had to shake a pen before. Uh, eyeliner before we'll shake it up and down okay and we're gonna take the because um, I will keep this because uh, I'm in love with eyeliners eyeliners and mascaras I'm in love with okay does it screw or pull oh okay so it kind of twist pulls so that's what the tip looks like, like a brush, kind of. Very sleek putting on. And so far, that's what it looks like. Let's let it dry and see if it runs into the creases of my hand. Okay, that's very hard. That's going to be a very nice, tough cap. Won't be no drying out from that cap. All right, next. Hey, honey, tone it up. Propolis and Echinacea Herbal Toner, all skin types. Hey, honey, tone it up. And all that other stuff I read just a second ago. The difference between an okay skin day and a really good skin day? This multitasking toner that's great for all skin types. It's packed with antibacterial propolis extract to balance breakout prone skin, plus calming echinacea and honeysuckle extracts to take down the redness. And if I can tell, I need something for all that mess. So this should be my best friend. Tip. Saturate a cotton round with this toner. And sweep it on clean skin post cleanse. So, in other words, wash your face first and then put this bad boy on. Okay. And next, buxom. It's the very last one right here. Buxom Cosmetics, buxom. Lash Volumizing Mascara in Blackest Black. We wear mascara almost every day, so why not choose a healthy one? This volumizing formula has vitamins and antioxidants that nourish and condition your lashes. The unique Hourglass Shape Wand grips every lash last, while the patent leather pigments give them a sleek, glossy effect. And the wand is got that hourglass shape like it was discussing. Don't know about the leather part of it, but that's what it says. Tip. Hold the wand horizontally and 
wiggle it. So I'm guessing wiggle it like this. Throw your lashes from root to tip. And last but not least, Nomad Cosmetic Tuscany Intense Eyeshadow in Aperitivi. Aperitivo. Aperitove. Aperito? Aperitivo? Aperitivo? We're going to go with that. Aperitivo. Aperitivo. Aperitivo? Aperitivo? Who knows? Okay, so, true to its name, Aperitivo, a shimmery rose quartz shadow in is the perfect shade for your all day tonight spring adventures it feels like velvet rose oh sorry it feels like velvet goes on like butter and won't crease on your lids either plus the cruelty free formula is made without parabens phthalates and talc Tip, use your fingers to tap this shadow all over your lids or on the center for a pop of luminosity. So, in other words, don't use a brush or one of them doe foot looking thingies or uh, one of those uh, other things that's got the sponge on each end. The crappy ones, yeah. So, I'm going to use my finger. That's what it looks like on my finger. It almost looks like you could probably use it as a highlight, too, if you wanted. Alright, so that's what it looks like. I really like it. Yeah, so. And I love Nomad Cosmetics. Um, they are, their eyeshadows are amazing. If you go into some of my older videos, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, so. Alright, so back to the eyeliner. Before we go into the pricing. It is on there. Let's see if it's really waterproof. Not that waterproof, guys. Check that out. So your waterproof tech uh, test sugar sucks. So it was a great line, you know. It didn't run in the creases. I guess I should have take that, checked that before I wetted my finger and checked the waterproof aspect of it. But we know the waterproof does not work. It's not all that waterproof. Wasn't it that that said it was waterproof? I mean, was it? Yeah. Waterproof. It's not all that, but it's not all that uh, waterproof, guys. All right, so let's go into the prices for the lipstick. This is a full size, and its MSRP is twenty bucks. For the Hey Honey Tone It Up, this is a deluxe sample. The full size version of this product is one hundred and fifty milliliters, which is thirty eight dollars. This is. 25 milliliters so that's damn that's a sixth of the price time to do some math so we'll take 38 About that by six. Thirty eight will go on the six, what? Six times. That's thirty six. At least two left. So so far we got the lipstick at twenty. This is gonna cost us like six bucks. All right. The Nomad Cosmetics Tuscany Intense Eyeshadow in Aperitivo, true to its name, is a deluxe sample. This is the 
full, the MSRP of the full size version of this is 13.5 grams, which is $27. This is 1.5 grams. So, it would take 13 of these to equal, right? Let's see. Not quite 13 of them. But anyway. So we'll just say this is $3. Okay. So, so far we're at 29 This is a full size. It's eleven ninety nine. This is a deluxe size sample. The full size is 22 at 10 milliliters. This one is 3 milliliters. So it would take 3 of these to equal a full size one. So 22 divided by 3 would be 7 bucks. We'll just go with $7. So 9, 10, 17, 2, 3, 3, 47 dollars I paid $12.80 for Ipsy. So we got a profit of $35.19. I don't know about you guys, but I'm disappointed with this month's Ipsy. The last two or three months of Ipsy that I've got, I have been absolutely in love with this month's Ipsy. I'm very disappointed. Sorry, Ipsy. And I don't like the bag. So, this Ipsy is a big thumbs down in my book. You guys let me know what you think. I love you so, so much. Not to mention, the eyeliner is not even waterproof. And it says it is. And my eyes water really bad. So, if you're going to tell me if something's waterproof, it better be waterproof. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a raccoon. And I don't like it. So, on this one. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll catch you on the next Unbox. Bye, guys.